Astrologists proclaim the week of Ubersoy dominance, if you got the reference. I have decided to do something fun for today, something that does not necessarily requires a lot of brain cells to ponder about, but will boost one's conceit of themselves if one is a rational straight white male of course. What is it, you may ask? Well, if you click on this video, you would know that it is related to some superstitious bullshit that is also known as astrology, that is also happens to be very popular amongst women, gays and people of color, and that I'm pretty sure has nothing to do with their biology. <clears throat> Instead, according to some Twitter head, men hate astrology because it requires self-reflection and shit. Since this video is going to be rather short and not serious, I won't go through the actual reasons why straight white males believe in astrology at a far lesser rate than other demographics. Instead, I will provide the echo-chambered condescending reasons on why white men believe in it at a lesser rate that are listed by the liberal journalists in the positions of power so that we all can have a little laugh at them. Here's what Vice had to say about astrology being popular amongst women and queers, and I quote, To understand your and others' personalities, to try to predict the future, ultimately it's grasping for control when we have none. Women and queer people are drawn to astrology because it offers community and refuge, something to lean on during a time in which religion has taken a back seat. In a heterosexual patriarchy, cishet men argue have less to seek refuge from. Yes, we own all the media and culture that reinforces white supremacy all day long. You literally have no escape from the bombardment of pro-white propaganda other than spirituality. And she goes on, it is during times of significant stress that people turn to astrology after all. In a 1982 study, the psychologist Graham Tyson found that people who consult astrologers did so in response to stress, writing, quote, under conditions of high stress, the individual is prepared to use astrology as a coping device, even though under low stress conditions he does not believe in it." Unquote. Hmm, I wonder how many people in the dissident right are into astrology. The other article claimed that sexism is the real reason why astrology is less popular with men. Here is what it says. There is a clear dissonance between the expectations of toxic masculinity and the zodiac. It could certainly be difficult to identify with something that so directly opposes the traditional standard of masculinity. The hatred towards astrology is not simply a demonstration of society's hatred towards women, but also a reflection of society's narrow perception of what it means to be a man. Finally, in an opinion piece by the Cosmopolitan, it argues that guys are simply too egoistical to believe in astrology. Here is the section of that article, and I quote, Women are more interested in working on themselves, and men just kind of think they already know what they're doing, explains 35-year-old female astrologer Ash Reed. They're not as open to expanding perspectives about who they are. Unquote. Yes, it almost seems as the course is in our nature. As you can guess, this article was written by a woman, just like all the previous ones, and as women are two times more likely to be into astrology, it is no surprise that they're trying to justify it from a position of power. Straight white males are just dumb and this is why they refuse to believe in it, they say. They almost talk as if it's a big problem that white males choose to be rational and demanding evidence. They would rather bring white males down to the same intellectual level as them, where where everything is about feelings and big abstractions like systemic racism and where one values life experiences and perceptions as a certain race or a zodiac sign. And as the worst personality type in the world is white, I'm gladly reminded that the worst zodiac sign is men. I also like the low levels of self-awareness behind the implications that supporting astrology might have on their politics. Here's a little comment left by a feminist. Who probably does not disagree that astrology is sexist, but disagrees because it is not rational. Quote, I'm a feminist, and a woman, and a leftist. I despise astrology because it is false and incorrect. In my search for truth through science, rationalism, and humanism, humanism, I became a leftist because truth has a leftist bias. 
The worst part about astrology is how it gives false hope to poor people rather than encouraging organizing for change. Did you know that the biggest predictor of which horoscope someone will receive is the socioeconomic status of the region, not their birth month? It's a scam to sell more newspapers and false hope. Unquote. While I don't know whether the truth has a leftist bias, I would disagree, since those are the discourses that the left constantly produces, scaring off skeptics, but regardless, that wasn't a really bad response on your behalf. And although I promised I won't get serious today, I will get to an extent. It is especially worrisome for me that those sentiments, along with deviations in academia, are going at a time when scientific knowledge is popularized and religion is declining. It is just another sign of a decline in skepticism, rationality, and the growth of degeneracy. And as an atheist, I feel kind of conflicted. Because our society basically replaced the idea of God and community with this sort of stupidity that I would say is even worse than the former. But at the same time, as a social conservative and as a person who is on the right culturally, I rejoice because most of the people who believe in that sort of crap also happen to be Democrats, gays, women and non-whites. I rejoice even more when astrology is pushed into politics and here is why. What it does basically is it discredits the people who push it, just as much as it discredits Vosh for supporting pedophilia. In fact, and this is going to be a real hot take, I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography should be illegal. Actual child pornography. Politics is to a big degree about optics after all, especially now, and I want my side to be as rational as possible while I want the enemy to value fields over reals, because bad optics in the form of fields over reals would never appeal to skeptics and rational people, and at the end of the day, those are the people who you would like to be on your side. Because when your side is full of climate change deniers and fundamentalist Christians, that kinda hurts your perception and optics, which in turn makes the intellectuals turn away from you and towards a group that seems more rational to them. You wish people like God Sad, Richard Dawkins and Sam Harris to be in your side and not people who believe in superstition. Finally, I should end this video with a final statement taken directly from from the second article that I read. So, for the love of all stars in the sky, be an astrology girl, ask for his time of birth, excuse your behavior with your sign, read your horoscope and read it out loud. That was all for today and thank you for watching, subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a like and join my Discord group.